four marks questions from the chapter heredity let us go into the questions the first question write the flow chart of mono hybridization between pure tall and short plants and mention the phenotype and genotypic ratios in f2 generation let us see how to uh, calculate the mono hybridization between pure tall and short plants so first of all we will start with the pure varieties of tall and short with the factors capital T capital T and small t small t when we cross pollinate both of these tall and short pure varieties it results in the f1 generation with all the tall plants but with factors capital T and small t because the gametes formed from tall plants are capital T and the gametes formed from short plants are small t when we cross pollinate them it results in the plants containing the factors capital T and small t as the tall is the dominating factor so the plants look tall the all the plants are tall in f1 generation this is the f1 generation now let us self pollinate the f1 generation it results in f2 generation so if you observe the checkerboard of f2 generation we need to uh, self fertilize them so the gametes formed from uh, f1 generation plants that is tall plants with uh, factor capital t and small t or two types of gametes capital t and small t when these gametes randomly fuse to form the next generation plants they may be in the ratio of capital t capital t and capital t small t and finally small t small t but according to the probability functions ratio of uh, the tall plants and short plants as the t i m mean, uh, tall factor tall character is the dominant factor capital t is capital t or the plants which are tall as well as capital t and small t are also the tall plants but small t small t are the short plants if you observe the phenotypic ratio 75% of the plants will be tall that is what 3 by 4 3 by 4th and only 1 by 4th will be the short plants that is phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 but when it comes to genotypic ratio observe the pure varieties of capital T capital T and small t small t they are of in the ratio of 1 each and capital T small t uh, the plants with the factors capital T and small t is the is in the ratio of two plants hence genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 this is what this is how we need to write the mono hybridization cross between pure varieties of tall and short plants Next question observe the flow chart and answer the following questions let us see the questions what does this flow chart indicate this flow chart indicates the sex determination in human beings next question which of the mendel laws are involved in this flow chart there are two mendel laws are involved in this flow chart they are law of segregation and law of dominance next question which factor is dominant factor as per this flow chart as per this flow chart y factor is the dominant factor and how is the sex determined in the human being according to this flow chart if the sperm sperm with the x factor fertilizes the egg it results in girl child whereas the sperm with y factor fertilizes the egg it results in boy child and finally who is responsible for boy child mother or father and why here especially the father is responsible for boy child because the chromosome with y factor which is responsible for boy child it can be contributed only by father not by mother hence father is responsible for boy child next question read the paragraph and answer the follow following let us see the paragraph during the course of evolution some organs remain in the organisms but they do not have any role in the life processes but in other organisms they have a particular role for example appendix in human being has no role but in rabbit it enhances the digestion process such organs are known as vestigial organs this is the paragraph about the vestigial organs let now let us see the questions what are the vestigial organs in the paragraph itself it is mentioned that the organs which remain in our human body our body without any specific function 
they are called as vestigial organs they exist in our body as usual but they do not have any specific function they they will not be involved in any type of life processes or any type of functions they are called as vestigial organs what is the vestigial organs in our body system as per the uh, paragraph given it is appendix which is present in the digestive system which is a part of digestive system it is after the it is at the place of where uh, the small intestine um, ends and uh, the large in intestine begins this is the appendix next one what can we infer from this story of vestigial organ we can infer about the evolutionary process that has taken place in the case of living organisms next question how appendix is useful for other organisms like rabbit even if it is a vestigial organ for us in rabbits especially in ruminating animals appendix enhances the process of digestion 